Black men, it's okay not to be okay. Hi, I'm Purvis Taylor and you're tuned in to Black Man Get You Some Therapy. Today's topic is anger. Anger at its core is a secondary emotion. The primary emotion is hurt. Underneath the hurt is disappointment and underneath the disappointment is an expectation that hasn't been met. Unfortunately, when we look at anger, anger feels like a much more powerful emotion that we can display and is okay for us to display and acknowledge. The key word to acknowledging anger is just that, acknowledging it. In order for one to acknowledge something, they must be honest with themselves. A lot of times we try to present anger as if it's something that doesn't exist or we like to bury it. The way that anger can manifest itself depends and varies, right? Sometimes for us as men, Anger shows up in two ways, in an internal way and also in an external way. The way in which we internalize anger may show up in some of our own self-destructive behaviors. Sometimes we hurt ourselves physically um, through self-harm, self-injurious behaviors, substance use and substance abuse. And some of the ways in which we externalize anger can be in the ways in which we treat the ones we love um, or just strangers. Sometimes it can show up in the form of our impatience how we talk to folks, our tonality, sometimes even just our facial expressions. I always tell people that being angry is not what usually gets us in trouble. It's how we manage our anger. A lot of times when people usually get to that point, they usually explode and it causes them to act or do things that they later regret. The important piece for black men is that we have a lot of justified anger given the issues that are going on but we don't want to hold on to it and we don't want to allow it to manifest in a way that's detrimental to ourselves and the ones we love. We must understand that anger can be destructive or constructive. When it's destructive, we harm ourselves and we harm others. When it's constructive, which is known as righteous indignation, it can lead to change and transformation. It's not about eliminating anger, it's about eliminating the destructive nature of anger. We're emotional beings. Anger earmarks our human experience. And in some cases, it can be used for good. For example, Rosa Parks, in her anger, didn't give up her seat, and that led to change and transformation and reformation for us as black people. Interesting enough, I'm not a big fan of the notion of getting rid of anger. When we talk about eliminating anger, anger is something that can't be eliminated, but it's anger is something that can be managed and controlled. First, we actually have to develop a vocabulary around other emotions besides just anger and sadness. We need to be able to identify when we feel helpless, when we feel frustrated, when we feel disgusted, when we feel shame. The way we manage anger is to acknowledge that we're angry. But beyond that, we need to know what our triggers are. Knowing what our triggers are helps us to respond accordingly. This is why I tell black men that it's so important to be introspective. It's important that we be able to sit with ourselves and examine ourselves and ask ourselves out of curiosity why we show up in certain ways. After that, it's important that we learn to take a pause. A pause is good because it allows us to collect our thoughts and think of possible ways to remedy the disagreement. Black men, it's okay not to be okay. Managing anger can be done by drawing, journaling, talking to a trusted friend, engaging in self-care activities, going to the gym, journaling, meditation, deep breathing, or just seeking out therapy. And doing something that brings you joy, doing something that brings you comfort. We need to be able to transform that anger into something positive. Managing is more so about how do we actually develop our awareness around the anger we're experiencing? How do we challenge some of the ways in which we think so that we no longer feel that anger? But also, how do we be intentional about our actual reactions to anger? Black man, get you some therapy.